Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to install the new Kali Linux 2021, the first edition on VMware Workstation. Okay, let's go ahead and navigate to Kali website and from there we're going to go to our download page and we can go ahead and download the ISO file or we can also download the pre-built virtual machine that's offered by uh, Kali's organization. I really like to just download the ISO file since I can uh, customize the installation process. I have already uh, downloaded the file so I already have it so go ahead and download it if you don't and then from there go ahead and navigate to VMware Workstation and then what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and either click on new virtual machine from the dashboard or we're just going to go to file and then we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. I'm just going to go ahead and click here. Then we're going to stick with the typical configuration. We're going to go ahead and select our ISO file. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where I downloaded the file and I'm going to go ahead and select the ISO file. We're going to go ahead and click next. Make sure it's set to Linux and Debian. Uh, make sure there is no newer version. If they came out with Debian 11, make sure you select Debian 1164. But as of now, Debian 10 is the latest version. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. I'll give it a new name. We're going to do Kali 2021.1. Then we're going to go ahead and click Next again. You can give it any amount of RAM that you like, but as I said all the time, if you're going to use this uh, virtual machine for quiet wall, for any type of penetration or ethical hacking, make sure you give it at least 128 and gigabyte of RAM. And this is what I'm going to uh, go ahead and provide to this virtual machine. You can go 256, 512, whatever you like, but 128 is the number I like. I always like to customize the configuration here. I like to use eight gigabyte of RAM, and on the processor, I would like to always go with two, two. Anything else we're not gonna mess with, we're just gonna go ahead and click close, and we're gonna go ahead and click finish. As soon as we're finished, we should have our virtual machine ready to start. Okay, so now go ahead and select the power. This virtual machine, click OK, and we're just gonna wait for it to load. Again, to scale up uh, this, we're just gonna go to free stretch here, and we're gonna select uh, ratio stretch. You can stick uh, with a uh, graphical uh, installation or just a normal installation. I like the graphical one, so we're just gonna go ahead and click enter on the graphical installation. It might take about one minute or so for it to load, but as soon as it's up, we can continue the installation process. Here we go. So Kali Linux is uh, booting up. It's going to go through some basic setups. And then we we'll, should be able to select our language, our country. We're going to stick with American English here. And then we're going to go through the process of installation, like always. While this is loading up, I definitely recommend you visiting Kali Linux uh, blog. Under blog, you should see the new release. So if you go to read more, it'll show you all the new features, new graphical interface that are available. Um, so this is the latest one that they just came up with. Uh, you know, you can customize your terminals and it has a lot of great future and what I really like about this uh, in addition to all of the new tools they have is uh, this tool that they have that is called Undercover. This Undercover tool provides you the feature uh, to change your desktop like a Windows desktop. Uh, therefore, you just uh, change the background like a Windows and you're basically undercover. No one knows you're using a Kali Linux machine, so it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and select the uh, host name for a machine. I'm going to stick with my name, domain name, leave it blank. Go ahead and put your uh, full name here if you like, or you can just put whatever you like. I'm going to stick with HackerX. Your username, you can change it or you can leave it as recommended. Go ahead and select the password. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put my normal password here. And then let's do it again. Then we're going to click continue. We're going to select 
our time zone and it's I'm gonna go ahead and detect the disk we're gonna select uh, the first option we're gonna select continue again we go with all files and we're gonna finish partitioning uh, we're gonna go ahead and answer yes to write on the disk and I believe this should be it it's gonna go through some installation this might take a couple of minutes so as soon as it's done I'll be back okay so the basic uh, installation is completed now now we're back to this uh, software selection page I always go with the large uh, and I always like to go with both platform here so if you like you can pass these two these are just a graphical uh, interface a new graphical interface upgrade so if you want to stick with the old team you can just keep these two but I'm just gonna go ahead and select these two this one is the important one so make sure you get all of this and we're gonna go ahead and click continue again this might take quite a while and as soon as it's done We'll go to finish setting up this virtual machine. Okay, so the installation is almost completed here. We're just going to go ahead and select uh, GDM3. This is the default interface I always go with. You can select either of these options, but I like GDM3. And now it's going to go ahead uh, to finish the installation. Okay, so the update is now completed. It's just going to ask us if you want to boot it up from GRUB. We're just going to go ahead and click yes and continue. We select uh, dev SDA, continue, and the boot should be complete now. Um, it will be restarting the VM and it will be relaunching the VM automatically and then we should have our Kali virtual machine available uh, to use. Okay, installation is now completed. Continue. Then we should have the VM ready. As soon as you have the VMware booting up again, go ahead and um, select I finish installation. Right now, as you can see, you won't see uh, your mouse. So just go ahead and click Control Alt. Your mouse pops out. Go ahead and select I finish installing. And now you have your new Cal Linux ready to go. We're going to go ahead and log in and we're going to go ahead and run apt update and apt upgrade. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my password here. And let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. We have our uh, new Cal Linux available. Just launch your terminal as always. Go ahead and run uh, sudo i and then go ahead and put your password. Make sure you change your password for your root, it's gonna be pass wd, click enter, go ahead and put your password for your root, it won't show up but it is typing up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it, you're gonna put it one more time, and here we go, the password for root is successfully changed, we're gonna go ahead and do an exit out of here, um, exit, and then we're gonna clear, we're gonna do sudo apt, update and we're gonna do sudo apt upgrade sudo apt upgrade and we're gonna go ahead and click enter we answer yes by pressing y to the question and here we go it's gonna go through the update and upgrade right here and as soon as this is done your new Cal Linux virtual machine is ready to be used I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to leave comment like our videos and subscribe. Thanks again and you have a great day.